I thought you would have known about this. You uh, know, pretty soon, you're not going to be able to see anything written on a piece of paper because your arms are not long enough. <laughs> uh, Joe is funny. You are correct, but I have some reading glasses. <laughs> but um, it was funny. The other day we went uh, to where were we? We were somewhere, uh, Mellow Mushroom or something. And so they have a beer menu. And so I'm looking at beer. what beer, and I'm like, I'm like, honey, I said, here. And I just had to give it to her to read because <laughs> I didn't have reading glasses, and they couldn't see it. Or if I'm like, what's I in this? I thought you went through this surgery to uh, help I did, to shoot lasers out of my eyes. And um, no, it's, um, what if you just had, <laughs> like, <laughs> what if you Distracted were? A toy. <laughs> what, if you, yeah, what if you just had toy legs? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. The... Uh, no, I did, but they said, when you turn 40, you're going to still need reading glasses. Oh. And I said, okay, so when I turned 40, I was like, hey, man, they were wrong. They were wrong. The next day, I, oh, my God, I can't see. <laughs> when I turned well, 40. We'll just fucking get glasses. When then. I turned 42, I said, holy shit, I can't fucking see. Because I only need reading glasses. You work I security. Have, I have you should be able glasses. to see. Oh, I can see far away. I can't see, like, up close to yeah. read stuff. So um, That means you can see black guys. Listen here, Sean. Black Mexicans. guys or black guys? Black guys, guys and Mexicans. Oh, yeah. those, wow. are the, those are the wow. people the security guards need. I got profiling eyes. eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Trump eyes. Um, are you a Muslim? <laughs> so I thought you would have known this um, this thing about, uh, and then we'll talk about getting old in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, so the other day, Danielle goes, she goes, oh, look, it just came up on CNN mm -hmm. News on her phone that Trump is going to open up the JFK files. And I was like, oh, my God, that's awesome. It's about time. And um, I go, that's cool. The one good thing that he did. And um, and then. I don't think he did it. <coughs> no. I then think it's just it's time. <coughs> well, you know, th they set a time. Right. These exactly. will be yeah. remain locked for yeah. in, 60, 70 in, years. In well, no, in 92 when, because this is what else seems like just yesterday. I hate getting old. Is after JFK, we saw the movie JFK. Mm-hmm. And then Oswald went to Washington. Oswald. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It starts with the O also, yeah. I think. Uh, what's that director's name? Um, Stone. Oliver, Oliver Stone. Stone, see? Um, so Oliver Stone went to Congress or whatever and said, I want these released. And they did something. He did some pushing. And so in 92, that was a year after the movie, they mm -hmm. said, okay, we're going to release them in 25 years. So now it's been 25 years oh, okay. or whatever because yeah, 92, yeah. So now, yeah, after I looked it up, then I was like, no, he's not doing shit. He's just saying, he's oh, just it's 25 years. He's for yeah. being able to release them now. But they said that they still have to <clears> – <throat> it goes through Congress. Congress is okay with it, but now it's got to be okayed by the president. And I'm like, but if he said on Twitter that he's going to do it, then it should be released. Does it, so that we're doesn't mean anything. I know, but we're recording this on Wednesday, so it should be released on Thursday. I wonder There's if they still have to ask the family. The I don't. The remaining Kennedy family. I don't know. I mean, first of all, like Danielle was saying, like, there's not going to be, are they going to release any juicy stuff? Or is it just going to be like some of the things are, well, first of all, do you believe in Case Closed? That was a book that said Oswald did it. Or do you believe in the best evidence book that I read that was pretty much what JFK was about? I don't know, because mm -hmm. uh, all I've seen is the movie. Right. I haven't re read. I mean, I'll I'll say the book because the movie's based on the book, but right. I haven't read the other book, so I don't know. Right, right. So, it just seems very. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, very suspicious, or yeah, that's not what I was trying to think of, but yeah. very. Uh, hard to believe that if what the movie said was true mm -hmm. about the weird bullets and yeah. you know then it seems odd that it yeah. would just be him yeah the one guy yeah but i have seen stuff you know documentaries and stuff on like discovery channel where they try to recreate yeah. the situation yeah where you know where Connolly, if he was sitting in the right position mm -hmm. when he got hit then that bullet could have done what it did yeah yeah and so it, I, I don't think it was a big government conspiracy. Right. So I don't know what I believe other than that. Right. Doesn't mean there wasn't someone else yeah. with Oswald, but well I don't think it was a big government conspiracy. 
Always, some guy just the other day, after you told me about the files, and I said I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. A day or two later, I was at work going through the break room, and then they, you know, they said something about it on the news. You know, yeah. So I was watching, and a guy walked up, and he goes, "What do you think about that?" <laughs> I said, "I don't know." I said, "I said it's about time." And he goes, "Yeah." Uh, he said, "He said, he he thinks there's a conspiracy. He's, uh-huh. It seems like that kind of." Yeah. I he was like, "Sit down. S- let me tell you something." Yeah. I can't remember what he said though. He he, he said, "Oh, I, it was." Oh, he said it was basically the government. Uh, damn it, I can't remember. What Trying he said to shut up Kennedy. Somebody, because Kennedy was going to shut something down. Vietnam or whatever. No, no, no. I can't remember what it was. But right. and he wasn't an old guy. He was a young. Yeah. He was he was younger than me. Yeah. Wow. And I'm thinking, why would you think that? Yeah. Why would you even care? Yeah. You're probably 25 years old. Yeah. Why yeah. Exactly. Care? Yeah. Well, and it's <laughs> the same thing. Like Sean, you heard on that podcast that we did, where Sean was like brought up like 9-11 a conspiracy and everybody oh yeah you haven't seen this documentary oh and that one he's like oh my god they but, don't do any they didn't do anything about kennedy on the on the show but like no um they did one i think on conspiracies but i don't know oh. if it was i think there's a short one that i uh downloaded like just one episode no oh. um but uh i said what does joe believe so we found that out yeah. he doesn't know um seven <laughs> week what might come out in these files is seven weeks before oswald shot kennedy he was or supposed <laughs> in mexico yeah. city the other one is is there russian connections and the fbi and caa cover up or connection and um we will hopefully find out on october 26th is what i wrote down my thing is well he was that. in cuba he right, obviously yeah. had some russian connections so he was i think in Ru- and i he think in russia and i think if it was mexico city maybe it was i don't know maybe he just how I get to get to Dallas. You got to go through Mexico Maybe. from Cuba, yeah. but um, no. But Cuba's my way thing over is by Florida. Well, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to Dallas, it'd be easier to get which is into Texas through Mexico, maybe right, than right. coming in, but um, sneaking in through Mexico as opposed to coming in through Florida. But what I was thinking of was the grassy knoll. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people have said that they saw. A lot of the witnesses said we saw something on the grassy knoll, like a shot, like a bla- like a, a flare or something from a gun, a muzzle flash. And then that could have been a f- um, camera flash. Right. And the smoke could have been a cigarette. And then, oh, Joe, you're part of the conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, and then the thing, one of the things that I liked that I was watching one of those like ID discovery things was um, they said there could have been somebody in the sewer. Like oh, shooting from sake. there, from and I was like, oh my god, I would have never thought about checking the sewers because you just stick a gun out of there. Jackie? Like, what if it's it from? Uh, what if it was Jackie? Uh, oh, what if she did it. Yeah, inside the car. Maybe. J- oh, see, that's clever. And then she's like, oh, I'm trying to. P- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but my other thing is him being shot through the neck mm-hmm. when you're way up high like that. <clears throat> you know, going this way. And you get shot in the neck, you know, mm-hmm. at this trajectory. And then um, the other one is the head shot where Back it seems like. And yeah, to the left. Yeah. So that just seems odd. Did you ever see that Seinfeld where they get spit on? Yeah. And he was like, and they redid the it. Kennedy, it was just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, that was great. Um, what was the back and to the left? What was he trying to get across by that? That the bullet didn't come from Oswald, that it came from somebody on the grassy knoll. Those three, that's the other thing. The three homeless but guys to me, that were on the train tracks, they were wearing like shabby clothes, but their shoes were brand new on that now picture. I don't know anything three. about ballistics right. and, and all that shit, but yeah. to me, the back and, you know, to the left mm-hmm. thing, I'm assuming then he would have been like at this angle. Yeah. That's what would have happened. But he because was this side of his head. Yeah. Exploded. But he was on that side. I thought he was on. I thought it was more. No, because they turned and went. Uh, nobody can see on video. Well, I mean, we don't <laughs> have video, but he had turned. So, like, you're looking down from Oswald's point of view, and the front of the car is on your right, and the back of the car is on your left, and they're driving down but away from the school book depository. I thought it so was more on a straight line. So if you shot him from the back, I think it was at an angle, like. If you were watching him from the school book depository, he's like at a what is that forty five degree angle going away i don't I thought it was the other way around. I thought if I'm looking at you mm-hmm. and you're the road that Kennedy's on right the it curved around this way, 
right. horseshoe, right? Right, but it was after. He was, he was going away. Yeah, it was after way. he had turned. So if I shot, it right. would be coming from the left. Yeah, no, from the right side. Because you're Kennedy, you're saying everybody no, listen to He's over here. Right. And then, I'm, and then you're on, on this side. Oh, I thought it was like he was over No, because that U-turn was right here. They turned like at the school book depository. Oh, okay. So they're heading <laughs> toward it, and then they're turning left, and then they head away from the school book depository. All right. So, anyway. Well, then I don't know what I believe now. It's a right. conspiracy. Right. See? Told you. Now you believe it was Jackie. Yeah. I believe if you opened up the... Uh, the uh, Roswell files too. You'll uh-huh. find something in there about Kennedy's assassination. I'll bet you think so. Yeah. Well, like Sean said, there was that thing of, and it's probably he got it from last podcast on the left, but it's about like Roswell, like not Roswell, but the alien. Roswell. Like we, have, we have alien technology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Joe just <laughs> broke it wide open. <laughs> um, that we have alien technology. Oh, that's like, that why they the bullets were zigzagging. Yeah. See. Gotcha. Um, there you go. Exactly. Alien. Oswald was an alien. Exactly. I'm trying to type in. Oswald this was thing. the alien from Roswell. That's why his name is Oswald. Ah, yep. He's. I. You're it's so. It's the English translation of his of <laughs> of his alien name. <laughs> That's right. Oswald. Uh, we are from <laughs> France. <laughs> the um, timely reference number two. <laughs> Tell me about yeah. it. So the other day, speaking of getting old, is um. Uh, what? Do you have <coughs> your, your uh, font set at the the largest? That's right. Yeah. Um, no, but my it's just like one word on the screen at a time. <laughs> that's right. That's what, <laughs> on your that's what uh, tablet. somebody said. Um, no, the um, oh, come on. Did I spell diagram wrong? Why is this image anyway? These images aren't coming up yet. So um, the other day, mm-hmm. so I'm 46. I don't know about you. You have kids. I'm 46. You have. <laughs> <laughs> you have kids two weeks you have kids but um so i think for you your mortality is right there in front of you until they leave the fucking house right mm, yeah. um, no but you can look at them and you can see that okay i'm an older i'm 46 now because i well, have yeah, this as i see them get older I, yeah. I think okay i extrapolate yeah and i realize oh i'm <laughs> yeah, even older you do so. the math yeah <laughs> you're like, yeah. hey, you want to play a video game? He's like, not with you, Dad. You're old. <laughs> um, you're like, you want to play Pitfall? <laughs> and he's like, remember Pong? <laughs> you're like, you want to watch a Qbert cartoon? <laughs> um, so, uh, so the other day I show up to meet one of my guys. I'm giving him a gift card because he did good um, at watching a ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Good job." You watched that empty um, room real good, boy. Here's Ten dollar gift card for McDonald's. Um, so I said, uh, "I said, hey." So we're talking, and I don't know if I've talked to him before about like in movies or what. But all of a sudden, he was like, "I was like, yeah, you know, they're selling the tickets for Star Wars go on sale tomorrow." Yeah, and it, and I go, "Yeah." I said, "They're gonna." Um, I said, "It's gonna be at the. They're gonna play that trailer tomorrow." I said, "Yeah." I said, "I can't wait." And he's like, "Yeah." How old is this? He guy? said, uh, uh, "So oh. he's 30. Okay. So. Well, but I go, I go. Oh, I said, I just, uh, I just went and saw Blade Runner, and he's like, Oh yeah, and I go, Yeah. I said, You know the original, and then I'm real, and I'm starting to talk to him, and then I go, How old are you? And he goes, I'm 30, and I go, Oh, then you're probably like, I go, What they've said about Blade Runner is, it's for some reason it's nostalgic and it's this great movie to watch, but nobody cares for the movie because it's so boring. And I said, but it's one that you have to say, oh, Blade Runner's one of the best sci-fi, you know, whatever. Oh, you're talking about the original. The original, yeah. So I'm like, but back in the day when that came out, you know, and then also I'm telling him, like, I can't wait for the Star Wars movie. I said, in 1983, they were like, this is the last movie. Yeah. And that's when I think I was like, how old are you? And he's like 30. And I go, you have no idea. Like, in 83, you were like, this is it. Like, same thing with... Octopussy. I was like, Octopussy, last James Bond movie ever. Yeah. Like Roger Moore. And then I'm like, oh, wait, they're doing View to a Kill. Yeah. And I got all excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so it was just those th- talking to this kid where you feel young, like talking to somebody about movies or about whatever. Until <clears> you <throat> talk about a movie that they haven't even seen because it's yeah. Yeah. 30 something years old. Or talking to my wife. Now we watch Family Matters. <clears throat> oh, why? <laughs> My she, God, would you watch that garbage? <laughs> Listen, she's a 90s kid. <laughs> but here's something else Holy I want to talk shit. to you about. Because <laughs> they have perfect strangers. I, I would be saying the exact same thing 
in 1990. <laughs> I know, right? Because they have perfect strangers on there, too. Yeah, I saw that. I was going to watch one just to see. I was going to watch the same one. Were you going to watch the one where they went, worked yeah. out, <laughs> pushed the books on the floor? The only, that was the only <laughs> funny episode I remember. They had to go around those books. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was like a lot of seasons of that. I was like, Were holy there? shit, that lasted like I think four or five seasons, oh. maybe four. And, um, and oh, and then, so we talked about this, another reference of old timey days, um, Battle of the Network Stars. Yeah. So you know how they redid it? No. Well, they redid it. Okay. At the end. Um, <laughs> don't you just stupid. Must have um, been really good if it's, well, I've never heard of it. They, um, what the fuck? Come on, man. Um, this diagram won't come up. Um, so they did, so before it was ABC versus CBS versus, uh, yeah. Uh, ABC and so it was like cool NBC. so yeah ABC, I thought NBC, I already CBS. said NBC oh, right okay. so before it was cool back when you were those like, were the only three yeah. networks but it was cool because you were like oh look Wonder Woman is fighting against uh, whatever Matlock yeah. <laughs> take that old man <laughs> um, so I said um, well what about oh so this new one so I said oh I'm going to check it out so I click on it and now, they said... Is the new one the same like the old one was? So they said... I guess not. <laughs> so they go, it's on Hulu if you want to check it out. So they said, our people today are uh, Linda Blair from... Or no, I'm sorry. Whatever her name is. But she Blair. played Blair on... Sorry. She Tina played Davis? Blair on Faith... <laughs> Don't give anything away. Um, she gave. She played Blair on <laughs> Facts of Life. And oh. uh, and Tootie Blair and Tootie were on there okay. now, and they said, "Here's them." And I thought, well, "Wait a minute, that's an ABC show, but okay." And then they said, "And then here's um, here's uh, Joey Lawrence." So I thought, "Oh, Joey Lawrence from Blossom from NBC," but no, they no, go, from Joey. "Here's Joey Lawrence from Joey and Melissa." It's ABC, and so it's I'm all like, ABC which people. is ABC Family, and I'm like, "Okay." And then they go, "And here's Bronson Pinchot from Perfect Strangers from ABC." ABC. Here's uh, so it's not Tracy Gold from Battle of the ABC Stars. Yeah, here's Tracy Gold from uh, Gold I was from say, I didn't think Growing they Pains. would ever do that kind of thing again. That's what and I was thinking. What I liked about the original is they were people who were on TV at the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Current stars, yeah, yeah. not people who've been off TV for 20 years. Yeah, but now, so that first episode was was those people. Oh, and then uh, Uncle Joey, um, or whatever the guy with the puppets, the what's that guy's name? The funny one <laughs> from Full House. <laughs> Um, Dave Couillet. Uh, Dave Couillet. So he was on there. The subject um, of that uh, song. Yeah. Uh, What's your face? He was on there. Um, the Lance Morissette song. Yeah. Um, he was on there, and uh, anyway, and all the and then some like newer guy that was from High School Musical. So it was a garbage show. So I watched it, and I'm just like, what uh, did they do? So they did. Um, they had track and field, <laughs> and um, all these 50, 60 year old <laughs> people. Yeah. Oh, trust me. Uh, 2D, 2D or Blair couldn't run very well. No. And uh, the new kid, the young kid. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sure and he Bronson, lapped them. Bronson Pinchot running was just like, like I don't know, like fat old guy running. He wasn't that fat, but he doesn't look. He dyes his hair. It's all black. Um, <laughs> but I was like, at least bring them both. Like bring, you know, the cousin, cousin in Larry. and him. Yeah, cousin Larry. And uh, so anyway, so they did that. So then at the end of that, although the announcers kept saying, you know, here's, you know, Blossom, blah, blah, blah. They talk about Joey that way. And I'm thinking, do these ABC guys not mm -hmm. know? Anyway. So then uh, it went from that to then they did like the dunk. They did a swimming thing. So they had to jump in the water, swim, swim back. Then the other one was they had to jump in a kayak, go in the on the pool and mm -hmm. go around this thing and come back. And uh, then they'd fall over or whatever and get off the rails and do whatever. And, uh, yeah, sounds like it went off the rails. <laughs> so then at the end, they have a course. So, of course, it's two to two. Who's going to win? Who's mm -hmm. going to get it? So they have this uh, a regular course of like you got to run through dirt. You got to roll under a thing. You got to climb under some barbed wire, which isn't barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> you got to swing through live some, round exercise. You got to swing through some mud and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be funny. They you got to put them through the wipeout. Swing, or, yeah, exactly. That's you an gotta, ABC show. You got to swing through a rope, uh, swing across some water in a rope. You got to run, then go through the the um, the tires. Got to go through the yeah. tires, 
then that sounds exactly <laughs> like what they would have done in, in <laughs> the 70s. Then you have to go up this thing and down the other side and see who wins that. Well, it's like r- <laughs> no, <laughs> you run up and then you slide yeah, down okay. the other side. So Brunson Mitchell almost got it and then – or no, Tootie what? almost got he it. Fell he fell off the side because anyway. he couldn't draft No, he Costa, finally got but... it. But then either the last one or the second to the last one was Tug of War. So, oh, and uh, what's the name from Roseanne was on there? Um, the funny one. Um, <laughs> the funny <laughs> the one. one that used to be married to Roseanne um, oh, in real life. Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. So Tom Arnold was like, oh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to be the anchor in my. Well, yeah, he used um, to be a lardy tough of shit. In my, in my uh, tug of war team, I used to be in college. I was the anchor. And they go, oh, okay. So they had him be the anchor, and he's telling everybody, and they're pulling, and then the one team wins. So I'm like, okay. So I go so to he watch, lost? So I go to watch the next one. No, they won. Oh, they won. Um, Blair and Tootie lost. Um, <laughs> so it was so. Tom Arnold against Blair and Tootie? <laughs> That's right. Just him against Joey and everybody else. Um, He's just standing so, there with his arms crossed, leaning way back while right. we try to pull. <laughs> so, um, so then I watch the next one. What? Uh, no. So I turn on the next because on the uh, description, it won't tell you who's on it. You know, you don't have to watch everything on Hulu. Oh, my God, Joe. Thank you. Oh, what a weight lifted yes, off my shoulder. I, I, I fucking were, know that, but... bitch. Um, so <laughs> on the description, it doesn't say, like, who's going to be on it. So I click for the next one. The next one is almost like what you said, which is horrible. But it was, okay, here's Nick Lachey and his wife, Vanessa Lachey, or whatever, from reality TV. Here's this girl from Joanne Krupa from Dancing with the Stars. And here's this other person. And I'm just like, all the people, I was like, I don't give a shit about these. So um, maybe I'll go through just to see what these uh, old... Yeah, you'll go through. <laughs> see you'll what see these, these old stars look like. Yeah. But, Where are um, they now? But if it's all going to be ABC, it's like, yeah, it's no it's, fun. It's like, not network stars. Yeah. It's a network. Yeah. And you're not going to get, you know, the uh, even though that show's canceled now, but you're not going to get Tim Allen on there from... Fuck no. Whatever and all that, so... Because back in the day, those people were under contract with yeah. those networks, yeah. and those networks wanted, the three of them wanted to do the show, so yeah, they yeah. said, you got to do this show. Yeah. Now, they don't do that. They don't well, and also, it, it was a promotion like in a way for your show, even though it was well, brand new Well, that's why it was ABC. weird back then. Yeah. Yeah. Where did the, where did the show air? Who aired it, it the show? Aired, it aired on ABC, from what so I So how did they get... You know what I mean? How did yeah, they get yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. I thought yeah. maybe if the show went on for other seasons, maybe the other one of oh, the other right. networks yeah. got the, s- the series, and then the next. Series. And it lasted for like from the mid seventies to the eighties. Yeah, until yeah. yeah, several years. So, but um, it was, uh, but yeah. So I'd like to see. Uh, it was fun to see Pinchot and Linda Blair and Tootie, but mm. uh, not not it's much. Like seeing Lucille climb that ladder at. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are the only people that remember that. I was trying to explain to my wife the other day. Here's Lucy ran on a marathon on, uh, you know, on antenna TV. Here's Lucy, the regular the stuff. Show? Yeah, the the one the she did one. after. Yeah, it was her. I still had Vivian Vance on it. Everybody again is like, God, you guys are old. Timely. Who the hell is Vivian Timely Vance? Um, did you ever hear that Fred Crawley or whatever Fred William Crawley. Cra- William Crawley, Crawley. Fred? And Vivian never liked each other. Oh, yeah, they hated each other. Yeah, see, I didn't okay. know that. I can't find any real proof of that, but I guess I, I just, could look. <laughs> I just heard some on Facebook that Anthony Daniels and Kenny Baker hated each other. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I might have heard. Well, I saw something with Anthony Daniels where he it seems seemed like more a dick. one-sided to me because they played some quotes or showed some quotes, and yeah. it was Anthony Daniels did not like Kenny Baker. Yeah, yeah. Kenny Baker, w- through the years, had been trying to get Anthony Daniels to like do some cons. Oh, and stuff yeah. with him, and yeah. then go fuck yourself, type shit. It was like little the, man uh, called him little man. Wow, it was like the uh, the uh, Joni loves Chachi thing. Uh, where I don't know remember we talked about where Joe? It was a uh, <laughs> maybe I do watch anything. So Chachi had this. His name's Scott Bayo. He had a reality show yeah. at one point, and he's friends with that kid that we hate. I'm gonna start a paper out right now. <laughs> <laughs> the kid from Wonder Years. Um, he's friends with that guy. They're best friends. What kid from the one you use? Um, the kid, the same kid that was like, you know, okay, oh, thanks, oh, mother, okay. thanks yeah, to the sister, yeah, and yeah. then uh, well, Pee Wee said, "I'm going to start." A I know. Around. Well, I couldn't, think, me. I couldn't think of what the kid said. What did the kid say? <laughs> something else that, uh, something else, real quick. While we're on an old tangent, oh, so what's funny about these two actors? Because I get them confused until semi recently. Mm-hmm. You know that Let's Be Cops. 
movie that came out. Mm-hmm. That guy looks like the guy that says, what am I, Job? <laughs> From the Michael Michael J. Fox. Remember, I just, for the intro, I played Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Um, he was in that movie, Life with Mikey. And I think it was Life with Mikey. And he had to, he was a child Jesus, star. I but forgot <laughs> about that movie. I know. And remember, they had a, the kid, the guy had to keep eating cereal. And he's like, what am I, Job? Because <laughs> it was a test. Yeah. He thought it was a test. So that well, kid. Is it him? It that might kid, be him. That kid was the kid from the Mexican who got shot, the I son. Remember, remember he was the son. He goes to get the gun. The gun goes off and shoots a guy. No, I don't remember that. Um, oh, it's great. It's a great movie. Um, Gore Verbinski. And then um, uh, what's the other thing? Um, oh, so that guy and then the guy from uh, The New Girl or whatever, Girl Next Door or whatever that. Show New is girl. yeah, he's on that show. Yeah, the guy from that movie. You're talking the guy from the movie. The cops, but he looks like the guy. But it's not him, right? Okay, but they look alike. So this this went nowhere. It went somewhere not because really. only you would know what am I, oh, Job? Job? Yeah, and uh, although I Michael haven't heard J. that Fox. from you in a long time. <laughs> no, well, you know, I'm trying to uh, yeah. hold on to him. Hold on to the past. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Like, so I call my dad. I'll get back to the other thing. In yeah, a minute don't forget. I can remember. What was it? This was oh, the well. third tangent. <laughs> so my dad, I call my dad to say, yeah, dad, I cried and I hugged this girl at her house. And my dad goes, you did have some good memories at the house. I said, oh, no, God. I had good memories of me being 14 yeah. and having friends and living in yeah. that house. Not necessarily like my dad was good or whatever. <laughs> and, um. So I'm like, yeah, that time. Like, I'm not talking about <laughs> after you guys after you guys got divorced or anything. <laughs> um, but uh, what made me go off on that tangent about know. this kid, the thing? So, um, so yeah, just um, I don't know why. <clears throat> Is it because you have kids that you're not nostalgic <laughs> that you've lost your heart? Yeah, <laughs> that you're cold blooded. <laughs> that could be. Because I can see death staring at I me mean, three times a day. Okay. I mean, I could see this. Here's what's funny. So Mm -hmm. I can watch Family Matters with my wife because she plays it and go, oh, my God, this is like they used to do. Like, this is horrible. But then it was on for. Yeah. It was nine seasons. They were going to go 10. They were going to have them get married at the end. Um, Laura and uh, I don't know those people's names. (laughs) Sadly, I do. And um, they even had the Urkel dance. And I told Danielle, I go, do you remember? Because she was like 10 or 13 when it was out. So I go, do you remember they had an Urkel doll? And she goes, what? I and I go, that. yeah, you pulled the string and it talked. And she's like, no. So I was, thinking about, it. I was thinking about yeah, getting one for it. Christmas, but uh, I don't know. It's too It'll expensive. Next to your Yoda. Oh, my God. No. Um, I'll put it in her room. <laughs> <laughs> but her, if, her podcast studio. <laughs> if you show up next time and it's sitting there, you know that uh, yeah, that happened. That didn't go well. um, so the um, <laughs> her podcast studio. Um Oh, what was it? So, um, so I can watch that, but then also I can kind of watch the older shows and go, "Wow, I used like you did, like you said." I watched Golden Girls, and you said I watched that one episode. It wasn't as funny as I remember, and they have a lot of good one-liners in there. No, like that was Sophia's good. It's just hilarious. that one I remember yeah. as being really funny. It wasn't yeah. as funny now, but, but the show's still good. Yeah, but uh, same thing with Wings. Like you sit there and I go, "Should I watch mm. Wings?" And I'm like, "I don't know." Some of them are not as funny as they used um, to be. And then, like, um, what was it? Um, so some of the nostalgia, like, I do like, like, yeah, you know, but it's, but it is tough, like you said, to. That's why I watched to the, be, new, the new Voltron on Netflix. Cause yeah, I used to watch the old one, and they even have some of the old episodes on Netflix. Oh, do they? Well, they it's kind of a like a best of thing where they mm-hmm. they'll have people that are working on the new show. Uh-huh. Oh, I introduce see. their favorite episode of the old series. Oh, that's and cool. And then they'll show that episode. Yeah. So I watched that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I need to catch up on that. But I watched the whole, all four seasons of the new show. I really liked wow. it. Um, and mm-hmm. then I think Hulu's pulled some of their stuff. Like they used to have Battle of the Planets with that little guy right mm-hmm. there that I liked wherever he went. Yeah. Where'd my guy go? He's probably around the corner. I don't know. The fuck? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah. His name is Mark, and his cave broke. His cave oh. cake broke. But it um, shouldn't break. They're they used to have this. Well, you know, yeah, exactly. Um, it had a lot of semen on it from when I was a ah, kid. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> that's why it's like that. It's very brittle. Um, so he, um, um, I was going on a joke about limbs again, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the uh, 
Um, so I think they pulled that and the one that you like, the uh, Galaxy Rangers. That was on Hulu? Yeah, I had written you, and I said, dude, Galaxy Rangers is on Hulu, and you were like, thanks. And I was like, I oh, Joe will love it. it. And then you forgot Damn it. about it. Um, but it might still be. I haven't looked up Galaxy they Rangers, the, but I looked up Battle of the Planets. It wasn't have, uh, That's where I found Battle of the Network Stars oh, <laughs> and nice. got me into they a have, fucking uh, swamp of shit. The original Robotech on Netflix. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, But it says one season, Yeah, right? And I'm all, damn. And then I start scrolling through the thing. Oh, shit. 89 episodes. Holy so shit. So it's not yeah. one season. It's yeah. the whole it's series. It's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then on to... Um, so, anyway, so, like you've said, mm. I understand Fall Guy is horrible. Yes. But <laughs> but I like watching it. It was um, horrible then. I know. But I know, but as a young but kid. But as kids, I, you can look past the horrible yeah. and see the cool and part. And so that's my thing. I kind of can understand that. I understand that things are horrible and that you can't reclaim your childhood, just like me going back to that house. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, look how small this house is. Yeah. Like, I can't fucking believe it. And then the other thing of um, just uh, just shows and just whatever, like Battle of the Network Stars, like that's horrible now. Like, um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with it. Shit but when we were kids is not as good as it right. is now. Right. But, is now. but then there's horrible shit now that, you know, you sit there and go. Yeah, but oh. I'm not going to be nostalgic for the stuff right. that I see now in another 20 years. Right. Right. Well, do you? I wouldn't think. I don't know. Unless I it's mean, something I really liked. It's like. But there's still no guarantee that it's going to be good then as it is now. Just right. like shit when well, we were it's kids. Well, like, it's like you and I said. Like we did the our, our most famous episode of this podcast. Pretty soon we're going to be making money. Trust me. We'll be signing <laughs> shit. We'll be <laughs> we're shitting. working deals. We're talking to lawyers. What was that that he said? Shaving money. We'll sh be shitting girls and shaving. What was that what? that he said? On Lethal Weapon. I was going to bring up Lethal Weapon. When he's sitting there. And they're talking, and he's like, we could be doing shaving cream ads oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and shitting girls' money or something like that. Uh, doing shaving cream ads. Not, I don't think you're getting that right. Well, what was it? I don't know, but I don't <laughs> think it was shitting girl money. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you're trying to say. Well, when you say it like that. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll uh, get back to you on the next show. Yeah. Um, we'll be doing shaving cream. <laughs> Got it. And they're on the corner. They just when been I shot leave, at. They'll put the, the movie in and <laughs> they've been shot at. They're pulling the bullets out. <sighs> anyway, and you think like, oh my God, Riggs got shot. He flew through that yeah. window. Not as bad as forty eight. Another forty eight hours. Um. So um. Yeah. So like that, you can watch Lethal Weapon. Like some of these movies hold up. Yeah. You know, like maybe not that one. But probably not. Star Wars, you know, uh, what um, is that? Switchblade Sisters? No, yeah. probably not. That one. <laughs> you don't think so? No. But Reservoir Dogs, although it's dated, but Reservoir Dogs, it is um, kind of, you know. But then also, could you go back and watch Civil War? Yeah, ten years from now, and go, that was great. Or would you go? I would think, eh. I would think that will hold up more because some of these movies, are, like you say, are, are dated because of the music. Right. Of the, the clothes you can yeah. tell the era, they're wearing costumes. Yeah, you know it's harder to yeah, yeah, date true. It in yeah. that way. Yeah, uh, but so I don't think Reservoir Dogs is that bad because they're all wearing black suits. Yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah, and you could watch that in black and white, and it could be like a yeah. gangster movie. And Way of the Gun is maybe a little dated from the '90s clothes or the 2000 whatever, but that's yeah. a great movie. I don't think that would. I think that's still good. Um, yeah, these are all still good. But yeah, oh, You're Breakfast Club right. and people still <laughs> people still. <laughs> thanks for your opinion. Yeah. People still like uh, Breakfast Club and uh, well, True Romance. Yeah. That one might be a little that dated, but it's still nineties, yeah. very nineties. Yeah. yeah, says it right there. Same Bonnie thing and Clyde for the nineties. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, oh, I have. Never mind. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have that on Blu-ray. If you want to borrow it, show it to your kids. You should. Oh. <clears throat> um, so. Um, so there are things that are good. Bronson Pinchot. From back then. Yeah. That's my favorite uh, thing Bronson Pinchot's ever done. Oh, no. My favorite thing is Beverly Hills Cop. Yes. What is this pertaining? Yeah. What is what? What's pertaining? What's a meaning? What's pertaining? Oh, oh what is a meaning? Oh, okay. Yeah. it's uh, I'm an old friend. Yeah. Still driving that, that same, <laughs> same that Chevy, uh, same uh, shitty blue Chevy Nova. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving that same shitty. Anyway. Um, that was a good movie. I watched that the other That's day. A good movie. It holds up, but and it's it very nineties. Yeah, uh, 80s. But it holds up. I mean eighties. Yeah, 
but it was uh it was real good. I think Beverly Hills Cop Two is really nice, and I think it's that. just Tony Scott. Yes. I think he's it's just his really style. yeah. Um, because same thing with Top Gun. All his movies look like that. Yeah, Revenge is a great movie. I know you hate it, but I own that. I don't one. remember. If you it, I show don't that remember liking kids. it, but I don't remember anything about it. Yeah, he uh, masturbates the girl with his uh, hand right there in the jeep, right oh, with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony Quinn's uh, wife. Maybe that's why he killed himself. Um, uh, who? Kevin Costner? No. Tony Scott. Uh, maybe. Uh, no. I don't think so. Um, what's weird is on uh, Taking a Pelham One Two Three, they filmed it on that bridge where he killed himself. Anyway, um, I have that by the way too, the new one. I'd I think. rather watch the old one. I know, me too. Um, but I don't. Did have you ever see? One. Did you ever watch King of Queens? Yes. With uh, uh, Stiller, Ben Stiller. Yeah. Yeah. Dad? Yeah, Jerry. Did you ever see that episode where he was watch he was watching TV and oh, yeah. he was watching <laughs> he himself was on, on yeah. Pelham One Two Three? <laughs> yeah, and kept, you know he had to tell, yeah, I used to be an actor. <laughs> you were an actor, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I remember. That was funny. Anyway, um, uh, Seinfeld's a good show. No, That's I, one that you know. I'm not a. I liked it when it was on, but I don't care anything about it anymore. I went through a phase where I was like, when it was played on TV all the time, over and over, I was yeah. like, no. And then now, though, on Hulu, I've watched it, and it's it's good and funny. I have no desire to watch it again. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then, you know, Hateful Eight and those. Yeah, no, See, good. I like that you and I went and saw the Grindhouse movies together when they were released together because mm -hmm. that's a thing that we'll never get back. Like, we can buy those on Blu-ray oh, together, yeah. but, yeah. you know, it was cool to sit through that. Um <laughs> it was cool to sit through that. <laughs> it <sounds> very <laughs> no, rolling. it was cool to sit. I'm sorry, I was I was losing my train of thought because I was trying to think. Which of one did you like better? Um, I think Death Proof. Yeah. Planet Terror was more the style that they it were going more, for. Yeah. It had the missing <laughs> missing yeah. footage, and uh, had the cuts. It looked and like the, that type yeah, of movie. The jumpy Death stuff. Was, yeah, was just. It was probably. It was probably like some movies back then too. Yeah, but I think it was just a better. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was more, uh, more polished or no more uh, um, visceral. Yes, yeah. I was scared for her when she yeah. was on the hood of that car. Well, and then years later, I got upset because then I found out she was strapped in well, by her no belly. Shit. I thought she was fucking riding on no. that. I was like, this girl's a stunt woman. No She's insurance just company on. Like, covered that's that movie. Awesome. They, were doing they cover that. Patrick Swayze jumping out of a plane. I think he had a parachute on, and well, he probably yeah. had. I'm back sure of people, yeah, people. Oh, yeah, I'm sure and there was a hundred other yeah. people above him in yeah, the sky. Exactly. Um, speaking of the other day, Drop Zone. Woman. Drop Zone was on. It was horrible. I what didn't watch it. What was the name it. of the movie that they filmed at the racetrack? Oh, that was um, somebody at work. Was why do you think that it? I know that? Because I know you know With it. With Charlie Sheen. Yes. Um, that was the one. You know why? Because that was the one that when I went to do my movie, and I went to like, I went to the police and I said hey, what do I need to do to film a movie in Glendale? And they said, you need to go to the zoning board. You so need I went to, to Steven Spielberg to get so the fuck out of my face. <laughs> so, so I went to zoning upstairs. I said, yeah, I want to film a movie over here at the Velma Teague Library and all around here. And they were like, we don't know about that. You have to go talk to the police. So I had to go back to the police, talk to them. Finally, the police were like, um, let us send you to City Hall. So then they sent me to City Hall. City Hall, I walk in. She goes, Oh, are you with the new... Uh, so I'm waiting in the lobby. She comes out. Oh, are you with the new Charlie Sheen movie? I should have said yes. yes you they would have gave me yes. everything. I always say yes when somebody yes. says, are you, are you with are the Charlie you Sheen movie? <laughs> are you a god? You say yes. <laughs> um, so I said no. And she goes, "She goes, oh, okay. Well, get out of here then. Um, she's like, I go, I just want to film a movie. And she's like, did you write it? And I go, yeah, and it takes place here. And she goes, well, if you wrote it, I would say rewrite it. Take place... <laughs> In the desert, <laughs> she goes. <laughs> she goes because if it takes place in the desert, you don't need filming permits. Like you can just film out there. She goes, yeah. but if you film it here, we have to close down a lot of the stores and hire police to watch the roads while you're running oh, through yeah. the streets and doing all that. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, yeah, that makes sense. I said, I was just wondering. Thank you. I said, uh, you know, I really wanted that scene to take place in the garage there, but uh, I was like, okay. So then I rewrote everything out in the desert. Take place in the desert. Um, it was um, that guy. Uh, it was called. Um, it was him and his father were in it. They were both playing cops. Um, 
and it was uh, the the guy she thought I was that directed the movie was the guy from Poison, um, Brett Ratner? Michaels. Brett Michaels. Oh, he directed the movie. He directed it. Yeah. Um, but you I'm know it's gone. I'm now, right? cheating now. They tore it down. Oh, did they finally? They're doing it. I mean, they're it's almost completely gone now. It was uh, it was cool though. It would have been a cool place to film. I would have liked well, it. Yeah, but it's been there sitting there empty. For I know. Thirty and years. broken windows and everything. Yeah. Um, it was called. Um, it was sitting there so long because it's full of asbestos and nobody wanted to touch it. Ah, yeah. But apparently somebody bought the land. And I see. You might be right. Wow. You know that place was only open for like a couple of years and then it was closed ever since. He directed high tension, low budget, whatever that. Oh, anyway, um, it was called No Code of Conduct. Um, somebody at work asked me about it. He said. We were talking about it. He said, did you know they filmed a movie there? I said, yeah, but I don't remember the name of it. Did you say, did you know Psycho was filmed downtown? No, I didn't say that. You should have. They re-released Psycho on Tuesday. Oh, so. The new Psycho? Um, no, the, the old one. The, old the original one. one was filmed here? I thought it was the new one. No, the old one. The old one, at least the camera goes to the building that it used to not be the Westward Ho, Westward Ho that had that thing on it. Yeah. It was the bank, I think, had the thing on it. Okay. The First National or whatever had uh, the big spire on it. And it goes there, and then it goes into the thing, and then you're in a studio where they're in bed. And, oh, okay. Um, and then when she's driving down the street and Hitchcock walks across <coughs> or something, whatever. Yeah. Um, the other day, I told you they re-released 40th anniversary of Close Encounters, and I yeah, went and saw I, it. I, I wanted to go see it. It was awesome. It looked good, but trust me, about three-quarters of the way through, I was like, okay, like... We're done. Like, they got to Devil's Tower now. I'm good. I can go home, but I didn't. No, I like that but movie. No, it's a good movie, but you know yeah, what I mean. Like, you're movie. sitting there. You're. I know. It's great. And that's an it's older one. Long, that's an old one that, yeah. It's not exciting all the way through. Yeah. But everybody's laughing at the, the crazy guy and the violence that he, you know, she just took the kids and everybody's fine with that. Yeah, he was a. Yeah. yeah. He's Nowadays shoveling he, dirt he in like through the window and the psycho. kids are helping him. Yeah. He's a psycho. Uh, and then he great. just ups and leaves his family at the end of the movie. Yeah, life. yeah. He's just like, screw you. And uh, yeah. I think kiss that girl, maybe. What? Anyway, the girl. She never wore a bra. That's why I like the movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> the girl that he ran off with that was drawing the pictures that was looking for a kid. I thought maybe oh, he kissed uh, her the at mom the end, from but maybe he didn't. Christmas story. Oh, is that what she, Yeah, yeah, that's who she I is. I think of her name. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he kissed her, but she didn't go with him. No, I know. But I'm saying he kissed her when he She married. was a normal who saw her, got her kid back. Yeah, 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 we're exactly. done. It was Thanks. like, okay, yeah, I don't w ever want to see them again. Um, Terry Garner, those a, crappy kids are left. There was a little, um, I, I told you this story, right? The, another thing that only I remember from back in the day on Johnny Carson. So Michael Keaton's on there. He's interviewing. They're talking, Johnny Carson's talking to him. He moves down so Terry Garnow can come on the show. Mm. She sits down. Is this and before or during? This is after. On? Oh, after? So, like, a couple years after. Oh, like, maybe okay. if I, maybe he's already mm -hmm. done Batman Returns or something. And um, all of a sudden, John, maybe not, because Johnny ended in 90. So it's Batman, whatever it okay. is, around 89. So all of a sudden, um, uh, Johnny's like, have you guys ever met? And he's like, yeah, uh, she played my wife. And she goes, what? And, like, she had no idea. <laughs> and he had to be like, Mr. Ma oh, yeah, 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 that's wow. right. Like, yeah, I was like, holy shit, how can you not remember that? But, um, yeah. That had to have been one of her first movies. Yeah, something like it that. Was his first movie, wasn't it? Um, or one of it. I mean, his yeah, first maybe, starring yeah, role. Yeah, like 80, yeah, like in the 86. That was early 80s. You heard that they're doing uh, Beetlejuice now? Beetlejuice 2? No. He's helping. And Who's helping? And, uh, Michael Keaton. I mean, he didn't Tim write Burton the other one. talking about it. No, but there's another guy writing it. But I don't like Tim Burton anymore. Uh, me neither. And I don't like Zack Snyder I didn't Zach see Snyder Big Eyes, either. but... Oh, did, there is a good. Why don't you like Zack Snyder first of all? Because he's ruining these. Before DC I defend movies. it, uh, you know his daughter committed suicide. Yeah. There now you feel bad. No. Well, okay. probably because she didn't like Zack Snyder either. <laughs> oh, it's nap. I told you we're not she politically saw correct. She, she Welcome saw to it's <laughs> kind of a funny. Not she saw an early correct. cut of, uh, of, of Justice uh, Batman, League. Yeah, and um, didn't want to deal yeah. with the embarrassment. Um, no, and then he went off and he filmed a movie with his iPhone. Did. On the um, Zack Snyder yeah. with his iPhone with all these accoutrements yeah. on it, and um, make everything he m makes look like Three Hundred, the only good movie he ever made. <coughs> yeah, and it was uh, it was a little short film that he did, and then it was on something like a Vimeo, but it was something else. 
mm-hmm. that I think he was trying to push up. Maybe he owns some of it. I don't know. Yeah. So I downloaded it and I watched his video and then I deleted the app. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I I didn't like that Superman versus Batman and Man of Steel that there was no like theme music for Superman. Nope. Like the only theme music you got was Wonder Woman's like, you know, yeah, I don't, it didn't make any sense. Yeah. So that was just one thing I didn't like about it. Yeah. So I'm hoping this Justice League will be better. It's still not going to have the theme music. Right. Yeah. I think all they're going to do is rely on her music again. Yeah. Or something. Or well, no, there's a some. Superman theme and there's a Batman theme. I'm almost positive. But yeah, but they're it's not. Unrec- it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody it's, remembers it. Yeah. People exactly. still remember the original Superman theme. Yeah. Because it was fucking, fucking good. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 dun. yeah. Got you. That's why I like that, that alone would have made Superman Man of Steel Returns. better to me. Exactly. Me too. I kept waiting for it through all of Man of Steel and it never came. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? Um, I can only imagine that's him arrogant. I can only imagine he's a, I don't know. He just seems like he'd be an arrogant to not use it. Yeah. I want to have my own. Yeah. He wants to make everything his own. Yeah. And use whoever. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'd want to get John Williams. Who are you going to get do that's going to do better than John Williams? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. Um, and not going to make movies anymore Danny after Elfman. he dies. You can get Danny Elfman yeah, to do uh, It's a Dead Man's Party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> regular music. <laughs> um, the uh, I guess he was in concert the other day. I don't know if it was all theme Who? music or what. Danny Elfman. Oh. It was, uh, Scott Mosier had a picture on Instagram of him and his wife going to see I'm sure. Danny I doubt Elfman. he does any Oingo Boingo anymore. Um, but he did what I would have liked to be, like for his friends, he did a soundtrack for Ghost in the Shell, and he played it for, for the them. movie? Yeah, for the yeah the original. the Oh, not the new movie. The Japanimation one. He did that and showed all his friends, and they all loved it. And I was like, well, release that. He just Fuck. did it on his own. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's not, not out there anywhere. Um, And what was the other thing? What you else didn't you say wanna, if you liked Blade Runner. What else you want to talk Oh, it's the sequel you didn't know that you wanted. Did you see it yet? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good. I My only complaint is that it was probably about a half hour too long. Yeah, but where would you have taken the time out? Like me and, me and Colleen and I, talked about that, and I don't... Tracy and I figured we would have cut out all of his... Uh, Stuff with the girl? Yeah. <laughs> with his, his girlfriend. AI girlfriend, yeah. yeah. She meant nothing to yeah. the story. Yeah, yeah. If she wasn't in it, it wouldn't have affected the story at all. Yeah, yeah. And there was quite a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. Although I did like, I did like it. Yeah, I, I li- especially like the sex scene. With yeah, him wi- and where the him hooker, and the girl, yeah, where yeah. she kind of, yeah, blended with. I like that part. Yeah, but if they had cut that but out, but that was also a little long. Like it was like, all right, all that's right, what I mean. Like, get they drug it. stuff yeah, out. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, so it, made even, it was a, almost three hours. When he first went, I didn't even realize it until later. But when he first walked in that room in the house where Harrison Ford lived mm-hmm. in the casino. I thought that was the original L.A. house where the toy maker lived. Um, like I was like because the way it looked yeah, like yeah. I was like, oh, my God, like he's walking in there like the entryway, like everything. Yeah. And then I go, oh, no, duh, he's in Vegas. Yeah. And that's where, you know, <clears throat> but um, but that whole thing of like walking through there, like it took forever. Maybe it was building tension, but it was just a lot of tables, emptiness and, you yeah. know, that they're trying to show while you're getting up there. Yeah, it's that so, kind of stuff. Yeah. Edit that out a little bit. Yeah. But other than that, I really liked it. Yeah. It, lo- it was, to me, it seemed exactly like the original movie. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a, it, you know, when you see a sequel that's 30 years yeah. later, yeah. It, it didn't well, seem that way to me. It seemed like it could have been a direct. Yeah. Just visually, it looked. Yeah, yeah. Well, perfect. and I, l- I liked that, like I said, it was a sequel you didn't know you wanted. Like, it it worked yeah. out. Like, it answered all your questions that you didn't really Is have. Is Decker the replicant? But, uh, no. Um, he said, and that was what was funny was when they even asked him and he's like, I know I'm human or whatever he says. Like, it's a throwaway thing. Like yeah. all these years, everybody, oh, is he, is he? And then she asked him in the car and he's like, no, or I know I'm <laughs> no. human. He says, I know I'm human or something like that. And that's it. Well, if um, their kid is a hybrid. Yeah. And Rachel, you know, is a replicant. That yeah, means yeah. he is not. Yeah. If it's come a hybrid like of the that, two. Uh, and one's human, <laughs> one's not. A little Wally roll out of her vagina. Yeah, spoilers. Um, everyone. <laughs> I so. like that um, um, everybody now is going to go to see it to see Wally roll out. <laughs> They're looking for Wally. <laughs> um, I was cur- I was wondering why in the news, because Sean Young is insane, 
why mm. we haven't heard like she's insane because she wants her money or she wants to be in the movie. I'm sure or they whatever. compensated her for using yeah. her likeness. They would I have would, to. I would hope so, but I thought I heard what's his name didn't get compensated. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin didn't. His family was like, "Where's our fucking money for Rogue well, One?" Everything you saw in Rogue One was not him. It was all right. digitally created. Right, but they showed actual archival footage of of her in Blade Runner. So that's right. what I mean. Oh that, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering I, if that's I the see. difference. Yeah, yeah. Right. From the the. But I don't know. They used his likeness. Voice so maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um. I don't know that they did compensate her. Or right. Say, I, I was, I was just thought they would have. But I think maybe after the whole Catwoman thing and all that, maybe she just shut down and. No one's heard like, from her. Yeah, so I think I'd be she's surprised probably if, like. If I heard that she was, but still she alive. was a good actress. I yeah. I kind of wish she would have kept going, but. Um, Einhorn is a man. <laughs> <laughs> you have any more gum? Uh, oh my God. Keep you to keep nothing. that to yourself. Um, <laughs> oh, there's a good. Uh, do you watch? Uh, you watch uh, Norm Macdonald on YouTube. He does like interviews mm. with people. He's got his own show. Mm. Um, he had Jim Carrey on there. And you know how Jim Carrey's gotten a little nuts mm -hmm. lately because he's also promoting this thing about how he got into Andy yeah, Kaufman. Saw that. Um, that's going to be on Netflix. I can't wait. But um, he talks about how, like, none of this is real and all this stuff. But yeah, he's a he does funny too. stuff. It's a good interview, but uh, it's just uh, interesting. But, um, okay, now what something I was going to tell you about um, I'm still trying to find a diagram of this JFK assassination. Okay, that's, you know, <laughs> you can give up on that. <laughs> um, so uh, the other day we watched Mindhunter, you and I, um, mm. separately. Um, other people did too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, was the thing about, um, sorry, this drive me nuts. What are you doing over there? Um, I didn't know. I didn't even think about it. Uh, uh -huh. But. I didn't know who Ed Kemper was. Oh, I thought I thought, other than the names of the serial killers that I did know, yeah. I thought everyone else was made up for the show. Yeah, but now I know he's. Those on, they're all real. On that Brudos, if you're just now, yeah, listening to the last podcast, I he was on that. there. Yeah, um, I listened to that one too. There's the brown as a school book <laughs> depository, <laughs> and the way that the car went was you know around that. Um, Oh, I thought it was behind. I thought it would have been this right, building. Right, right, yeah. I thought it no. was behind, directly behind. Yeah. Um, and then, um, what was I saying? Um, oh, so Mindhunter, did you see the uh, the thing that I told you um, that I shared on our Facebook page for the podcast? I don't remember what. It was, it was a very, it was Mindhunter, the, them talking to Ed Kemper, and then it was Ed Kemper really being interviewed oh no i didn't and so that. it would jump back and forth and um it was really cool because a lot of now? the stuff he said yeah he's still, well it was he's still in prison it was yeah oh you thought he'd be released after killing his no, mom i didn't know if throwing he was her dead. voice box voice box in a no, in I the he'd be sink dead. and it spit it, it out was in the 60s wasn't it um, or 70s? he might have been that was 70s um he might be but i thought he was still alive but i don't know but it was an older one it was from the 80s maybe well, that's what i mean it wasn't a recent interview. right 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 okay um, but it's really interesting. Like a oh, lot yeah, of the sure stuff kind of matches up, goes back and forth. Um, well, the two guys in the show are basically the two guys that actually yeah. did that stuff. Yeah, they changed their names. Yeah, but what they did is is what yeah. they actually and did. And the doctor, they changed. Yeah, all that name. part's real. Um, and then the uh, well, I liked the um, Richard Speck, like that was cool. Mm. Um, and he was just one where he was like, just it wasn't their night. Like it wasn't nothing yeah, that. Nothing that was bad in him. Just I just decided to kill them. Like nothing. Yeah, I listened to that. And about and him on their show too. On oh, the I haven't podcast. listened to that one yet. Um, or no, did I? Yeah, because it was the murder. It was the spree murders. Spree right? murders. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I then was kind of hoping they would talk to Gacy or. Yeah. Well, well I don't know what time. When did he? In the eighties, I think that might come up. Just like the BTK killer, like they're not going to be able to talk to him because he didn't get caught until the two thousands. True. So, you know, it's going to if it's going to follow him doing these killings, they might investigate. But because that was a BTK killer, yeah. spoilers, who was on there. So maybe they'll touch on him next season. And then maybe also, though, you'll see that well, he's maybe out. Maybe they'll touch on J like John Gacy. Gacy. Yeah. So and, uh, uh, Bundy. 
Yeah. Yeah, and then Bundy, yeah. And the um, Boston Strangler, all those guys yeah. in the 70s, 80s. Yeah. And then the one that I was thinking about that I downloaded also was the, um, that one recently, not recently, sorry. On the recent podcast, the last podcast on the left, they talked about Ed Gein. If you listen to the to the Willie Picton one, mm-hmm. it was Ed Gein had, they go, so that grossed you out? Like it didn't gross you out uh, with the bag full of vaginas oh, yeah. or whatever? And I was like, holy shit, like Ed Gein had a bag of vaginas. And like I did on one of my solo podcasts was a guy had collected vaginas. And I was like, was that the whole tunnel of the vagina? Like how far back do you go? Like does he just scoop out the, the mound? Or does he like go in there, like have the whole thing, like here, this is a vagina? I don't know. Like, I don't know. How would you do it? I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, well, if you had to. <laughs> If you, I, I think know. I would cut down Scoop maybe with, with, a, ice cream with a steak knife. I was thinking that, but it wouldn't work. You You'd have to sharpen it. Yeah. Like you do an That's ice cream. Right. And you take it out. You need a bigger one, though, to get a and vagina. Push that little button on the thing that pushes <laughs> That's it right. into the bowl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. gross. And then I stick the thing into the cup of water to wash it off. <laughs> Your dick? <laughs> no, the oh. ice cream scoop. <laughs> yeah. Not hot water. Make it go through the skin better. Um uh, oh, and then I shared also on my recent podcast about a guy that collected 3,000 vaginas. Penis. Penis. I, I mean, penises. penises. And then I guess it wasn't true. Hmm. Imagine Somebody that. told me it wasn't true. Wow. And I was like, what? Some I was fooled. Yeah, that wasn't true. Yeah. Um, I'm like uh, Donald Trump now. Fake news. Fake news. So now I'm questioning all my stuff. I like would. I got all these. Question everything. All these weird news stories. Like Alex Jones. Um, that's right. See, that's one. I want to look up him and figure out what his... Just listen to he's on fucking questions. Joe Rogan's podcast like every other week. That's what and They're he friends. talks what always he's conspiracies. Cra- yes, yeah, oh. he is insane. And is Joe Rogan like for it? Like is he? No, he's does not. he challenge him or does he just kind of sometimes art a little bit? He just like, lets him talk yeah. basically. They're yeah. friends. Yeah, but I don't think Joe Rogan subscribes to everything R- he yeah, says. Yeah. I think Joe Rogan some things he questions, yeah. but not to the degree that Alex Jones does. And then if you're listening to the nine nine eleven one now, the podcast. I haven't listened to that one yet. Are you? Oh, okay. Because go I'm going to listen to that, and then maybe Sean and I will do one about nine eleven conspiracies or something. But that one is hard for me to challenge because. Did you already believe it all? Because like JFK. Like I can sit here, although I guess maybe 90% of the people. They said that they've done a thing, and like 60-something percent of people believe that Oswald didn't do it, that there's something else to mm. it. So. I'm with the ones that believe that Oswald didn't do it. You know, he said he was a patsy, um, you know, all that stuff. Um, I don't believe that he did this all completely by himself. Right. I just don't think it was the U.S. government. Right. Set this all up. Right. I don't know what is the in between of that is, but yeah. I just don't. Well, think it could have been could have been the Russians if they say the Russians were connected. Could have been no, the I'm Russians. Saying, that's what somehow. I said yeah, before. Yeah, he yeah. was in Russia. He yeah. has Russian connections. Yeah. He was in Cuba. Yeah. He has Cuban connections of some yeah. sort. Yeah. So what that all means, I don't know. Yeah. I just don't think our government yeah. planned this out yeah. and set him up for the fall. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're wrong, but okay. yeah. no. <laughs> no, I don't I don't know if it was a government. Um if that guy exists that Donald Sutherland played, mm-hmm. my wife hates him because she saw the first time she saw him was Hunger Games. So he's President Snow, so she doesn't <laughs> like him. I'm like, honey, you need to see Kelly's Heroes. <laughs> um, oh, and I know you've been complaining. I'm going to get some office chairs sometime. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> complaining. Uh, my record. wife goes, you threw away my massage chair. So why would I buy you an office chair when you threw away the office chair that massaged that's you? That's when you remind her. That I make the money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she makes some money, but yeah. And that she can spend her money. Um, Exactly. Um, but no, yesterday we were at Living Spaces. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. We were at Living Spaces, and uh, and we were checking stuff out. And I said, oh, I like this chair, and I want a bigger. I said, I want a desk like this, but a desk. A full, a real desk. Yeah, a full like desk two, and not two, two folding two, chairs. What do they call I that? Mean, folding uh, tables. Uh, poker a, tables. <laughs> no, there's a, a name for that type of desk where two people sit. Oh, on yeah. On either uh, side of a giant table. It's uh, the German it's Nazi. Uh, no. Do you have your papers? <laughs> Is There's that a, a is that a Mexican yeah. Nazi? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your papers? I say, <laughs> <laughs> we are the Nazis, yeah. yo. Wow, Vato. Wow. Um, so um, we're almost done. I see you're yawning. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm tired. How I'm dare not you? Bored. I'm, my sleep schedule is so messed up. Not yeah. that anybody cares. Let me tell you about my bid for shift. Um, <laughs> so, um, 
Nice. The uh, oh, do you have any uh, things that you think uh, Sean and I should talk about if we do it when we do another show? Not like at the moment. Maybe but I'll think about it. Totally, like not that hasn't been done that we can do research on or whatever. Because like Sean wants to do the Manson one, and we listened to Manson on last podcast on left, and Sean's I like, to that one yet. and Sean goes, oh, I need to listen to that again because he likes the way. Oh, the real good one is Carl Panzram. I love Henry Zabrowski's voice. He's like this guy that killed a bunch of people in like the like 30s or 40s, no, somewhere around the 50s. I probably skipped um, that one because I didn't know the, who it was. But Henry Zabrowski does this really funny voice for it. Oh. Um, but, uh, and I like on that, oh no, it was another one. It was Om Shurikyo, and he stayed away from doing an Oriental voice. And they were like, you're not doing an Asian voice? Like, come on. And he was like, no, no. And then on the last one, he said, oh, yes, you might want to. <laughs> um, but Sean said, uh, let's do Charles Manson. My thing on Manson is like, I don't really care. Like, that was an interesting podcast. <laughs> I don't really care. But I don't really care about Manson. First of all, there's too many names. Like, I got to remember. That's a lot of people. I got to remember all these people. It's not just Manson. People. He didn't do anything. Right, yeah. I Literally gotta, didn't do anything. I, got, I think he killed one person, they think. Uh, or hurt them, whatever it was. I don't, I don't think but, he killed anybody. But At there was these other, know. right, but then there was these other people that you got to remember Sharon Tate's name plus the Folger people or Folger lady plus, you know, these other two, you know, yeah. all that. You might want to pick someone else. With and a so, yeah, so that's why, I, give me one guy, like um, even the Richard Speck, then you got those nurses. My wife had never heard of Richard Speck, and I was like, oh, that was, he killed these nurses. Um, but, um, but what else? Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anybody think of anything, uh, write us on the Facebook page or uh, an email on this kind of funny podcast at gmail dot com. Yes. Or write Joe, or if you see Joe on the streets, yeah, go walk hey, up to me. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Well, we'll be at the TwitchCon. I'll be oh, there with yeah, Joe. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll be there with Chip. Yeah. You have a Chip invitation? No, I don't. Actually, <laughs> oh, I guess I must you have got lost. You have a Sean, maybe a Sean invitation. Got lost in the email. You got a Sean invitation? No, I didn't get one of those either. Dang it! Let me think of Sean's. I don't I've know. been away too long. Yeah, I can't think of Sean. Of I have Sergio's ASE. What Where's he? What do you? He's been on. They're they're sowing not sowing their oats. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're um, they went on vacation again recently. They went to California. Hmm. Him and his wife and the 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 teenage daughter. I'm teenage. She's twenty now, probably. <laughs> um, their daughter and uh, went to like Disneyland and hmm. all of that stuff. Went to the beach, Venice Beach, and everything. And um. And so every time I'm like, hey, Chip goes, maybe it's because every time you talk to him and you're like, we should get together to do a podcast. Maybe you should leave that part out that's, and that's say we should. That's when he plans a, a vacation. Yeah, he goes and just say we should get together and hang out. And I said, yeah, true. Over here at my um, house in front of these microphones. <laughs> that's right. Well, he used to stop by before work. When we did the other one, he'd be like, I'm coming home from work. I'll stop by. We'll knock out an hour and I'll leave. And I said, okay. And then he goes, yeah, I get off around this time. I said, I can get up and, you know, we'll do the show. And then he was like, no. So, you know, or just said, maybe I'll think about it. And mm. he hasn't lately. So it's like, okay. So I'm still trucking along. And I'm trying to make the show that Sean and I are doing blend in with still, like I said, on that 100th episode. Like, it's kind of a funny podcast. Mm -hmm. So I have this theme song already. I can't change the name of the show and have us all do investigative reporting or whatever. Uh -huh. So I should keep it the same with the same theme song, but do something just to make do it. Just do what you do with Sean. Fun. With Sean. Right, right. Yeah. With Chip and I, you just do other stuff. Well, and then like me and Chip, Chip was saying, maybe call it Presents, you know, and then, you know, so it's kind of a funny podcast, Presents, and then the name. But then I right. said that adds even more to the, yeah. To yeah. the title. <laughs> yeah, I already have long titles as it is. Um. All right then. I guess. Uh, oh, we still got seven minutes, Joe. Before two hours are up. Dang. What do you got? Tell me a story. I want you to tell me a story. I think you remember. Did you know that Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the country? Um, I could barely hear you, but yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Phoenix is the fifth largest by population, but it's the tenth largest by square miles? I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Yeah. Um. I don't know why no, I was I, I was looking that up on the way over here for I some didn't reason. Know. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, you're probably like it takes fucking forever for me to get to Phillips house. Yeah, it takes 45 minutes. To um, get there. Well, trust me, my wife goes. I know you want to be by the friends, but when I get out of nursing in a year, out of nursing school, she goes. I'm thinking we should move There's closer. Hospitals in the West Island. She said, I think we should move closer to your work. 
Out to like the door on like baseline or whatever. Ooh. And I said, that's mm. uh I said, that's pretty far. I said, it's all freeway, you know, and granted, like I said, I could come to your house, but I know you hate your wife, so that's understandable. Wow. Um <laughs> no. I told you that in confidence. Uh, I know. No, I know that you like to um you like to just speak your mind and uh and i do feel bad when i think about when i talked to like jake like i was just like yeah fucking fuck 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 and i was just saying that a lot and i'm like i should have been a little that, more that, like that <laughs> no i but say I, that to him I all the time he's heard it all it's i should have been a little more appropriate with a 15 year old that i barely know and i'm going yeah so i fucked the hooker <laughs> once and he's like what um, my t- tongue up his cheap ass one time <laughs> that's right um no yeah. he's heard it me Did you ever hear the uh, Andrew uh, Dice Clay joke about uh, he came so hard in this girl's mouth that it looked like her teeth were melting? <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I like it. Um, no, I haven't uh, heard that. What else? Um, oh, what shows are you watching before we... Uh, uh, what am I watching? I'm not watching anything yet. I Just after uh, Mine Hunters. Do you watch the Goldbergs at all? Uh, off and on. Tracy watches it all the time. Do you watch uh, Modern Family? No. Oh, no, you said she might watch she it. She watches those you all the time. Yeah. I just watch them every Um, What else? The while. Mick? No, I haven't watched it. Oh, uh, you haven't watched a new season, or no. you're still catching up on the last one? Um, They're in, I think, four in now on the new one, on yeah. the new season. I have a hard time, I don't know. Just, you like Latching her? on to something. I liked, I watched the Mick first right. two or three episodes with Tracy, and I liked it, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know, something, it just didn't grab me to make me need to watch the yeah. rest. It gets funnier as it goes. I'm sure it's but, funny. But I, th- yeah. I thought, I thought yeah. it was funny when I did see it. Yeah. There's, there's something about it. What just about like Modern th- Family. I watch it. I laugh. Yeah. But it's just, I don't care to, s- oh I don't God. need to see the next episode. <laughs> I laugh out loud so hard the other day I was watching. He, uh, they went on this boat ride, like like a houseboat, like out in the lake to celebrate uh, Al Bundy's birthday. Mm-hmm. And um, is that his name, Al Bundy? Yeah. And um, so they're sh- celebrating his birthday, and um, uh, what's the gay guy's name? The bigger gay guy, uh, Cam. So Cam's on a boat with Sophia, yeah. And she's sitting in the front, and he's wearing like because he's bad with the sun, so he's wearing like this dashiki thing <laughs> that's fully covering him, <laughs> and he's doing a little boat. <laughs> all of a sudden, his thing gets caught in the boat motor and just. <laughs> <laughs> just rips it totally <laughs> off of him and he's totally naked and he's like ah and then she falls in the water and he's got to help her nice. out no oh, it's hilarious um Christ. <laughs> he scared joe no this one jumped on my leg <laughs> oh. just as the other one started barking <laughs> oh, and he just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that's funny um so then what happened um <laughs> oh the exorcist you said i no. have i'm gonna I, I don't know if season. I should start that. Like that last season, I was like, it was good that they threw the Regan thing in there, and that you didn't was cool. like this last season. I did. I mean, I liked the Regan thing, and then at the end, I was kind of like, okay, well now they defeated it. Like now what? Well, it's so not them anymore. It's I a know, different. But it's still Doctor. No, I think I it's read the it's two. Still, it's still the priest. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, those yeah. two. Yeah, but it's a different. Yeah. Other than that, it's different people. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it. A I've try. heard. I heard it's still good. So Have you been watching the Law and Order? No. Uh, no, the uh, Mendez brothers. No. Oh, uh, we're watching that one. That's uh, interesting. Seems very odd. Um, law and Order. They that they tag on the Law and Order. Yeah. Name. No, well I know, but they've done that with something else. They did that with some what? Some other murder thing like that. Like it was true life, Mendes a real life murder. Maybe it's another O.J. Simpson that they did or yeah, something. Did. But I don't know. That O.J. Simpson one was good. Did I'm you sure watch it was, that? But it wasn't. Law and Order presents oh, the no. OJ trial. No, no, but it was. Um, but no, this one it's it's interesting because I didn't know enough about the Mendez brothers. Oh it's on gosh, NBC, shut right? Shut up. Yeah, they tacked on Law and Order because Law and Order is their highest rated thing they have. Oh right, and yeah. they had to tag that on to get people to want to watch this. They got the dum dum. Do they, they really put that on there? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, NBC's uh, yeah in trouble. Um. Well, yeah, they have all the hundred Law and Orders. Uh oh, my wife's giving us. We're done in two minutes. Is she recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife calls it my gay cast. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Now we talked about shows, shift vids. You don't have any shift vids no, going no. on. All right. Not yet. All right. Well, uh, 
Okay. Oh, and Sean, just so you know, I gave Joe the. Uh, well, Joe's already got those, so I don't know if yeah, he's Sean, taking those these, cards. I have these same uh, cards. Still. Yeah. But that I don't so. know what to do with. I guess I'll <laughs> give them to Philip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I have a bunch. I'll send him to Chip. See what he can do. Oh, so it's Patreon. I told you about. He's drawing. Doing yeah. the drawing. I heard, well, I heard uh, right, you yeah. and Sean talking about it. Yeah, he wanted to make money from that. Now he's I would like, like I would like a show of nothing more than Sean <laughs> doing Chip. Oh, okay. That was there hilarious. we go. Yeah. Um <laughs> and then um and then now he's doing Twitch and he's trying to get sponsored by Twitch. Yeah. Checky. So then, <laughs> that's right. We're talking about Twitch in here. So he's trying to. Uh, I see your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, the, the other day, I was, I I was doing something here. I was watching YouTube or something, and all of a sudden they went running away. This whole thing shifted. <laughs> that came out of there. My headphones flew off. Those headphones flew off because they got <laughs> tangled in the wires. I was like, "What the hell?" Oh, something funny. So our little dog. Uh -huh. uh, I had a little heating pad that I sleep with sometimes You're on my old. back. I get yeah. it. <laughs> And my wife has a bigger one. I have a smaller one. And so we, I had that next to the bed, but it was off, but it's still plugged in. All of a sudden, the little baby is whining. Yeah. yeah. And Danielle's like, what? And I look down, and Danielle leans over me, and she's like, she's like, hang on. And so we think she's tangled up. Mm -hmm. And when Danielle goes to grab her, the thing, the baby's like stiff because <laughs> she's being electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> And so she's just like, because she can't open her mouth because she's yeah. locked down on the wire. Oh, she was chewing so, on the cord? Yeah, she was chewing on I'm sorry. Yeah, she was chewing wow. on the cord. And so, uh, but we thought she was just tangled in the wire of it. Knock it off. And so then Danielle, that smell? Like, Danielle leans over and unplugs it. And then we get her and she's like, are you okay? And we had to do research. Like, is the baby going to be okay? How much volts can a dog <laughs> take? <laughs> is that what you type into Google? Wow, well, yeah. How many <laughs> How many volts Erase can you take? <laughs> yeah, we didn't smell dog hair or nothing. Wow. Some burnt dog hair. So uh, that smells nice. like burnt dog hair in here. <laughs> uh, sorry, Pete. <laughs> um, that's great. All right. Yeah, that's the end of the show. Thank you. We uh, Pete, catch uh, Pete, uh, people are gonna be all over you. Yeah. Well, you know, he, she's okay now. She, yeah. She as, far as, as far as everyone knows, the dog's fine. <laughs> I don't that's see right. it anywhere, all but it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> exactly. On the barking yard. Uh, that was her. That was her. <laughs> Um, no, it was, uh, trust me, Danielle was really like worried and all this stuff, but now she's okay. So, okay. Well, thank you for listening. I hope, uh, you all enjoyed and, uh, yeah, I guess that's all you got anything to say. No, oh. I'm good. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Philip. And whenever I show up again, I'm Joe. Oh, uh, yay. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. Can you really deep throw balloons? Do pregnant strippers make us swoon?